Now let's try to do it with the punch comping technique. So I'm going to be using my hybrid picking fingers and my pick to grab these uh, notes of the F9 chord, F, A, E flat, and G. This will be in your PDF chart if, in case you don't know it. So let's check out what it sounds like. There we go. One, two, three, four. So it's a different tightness than this. Also, it sounds more open to me because I don't have the scratches going on in the middle. I don't, I don't hear so much. Even if I were to uh, traditionally strum this and cut out some of the scratches, it doesn't have the same effect as this. Okay, so. Let's now start to chain some chords. Now I could do it with the traditional strum and scratch technique. And all I'm doing here is playing different inversions of uh, dominant ninths uh, and nine and thirteens. You know, where I have a third version nine here and a second inversion nine. This is a nine thirteen and a sort of a C minor six nine acting as an F nine. Um, what I'm going to do here is start to punch comp it. Uh, I can grab the chords easier and I can vary up my, uh, my rhythmic inflections a little better than I can with, uh, with the strumming and scratch technique. It's tighter. It, it's tight in its own way. It's, one is not better than the other. I, I use both, and when you combine them, it starts to make some really happening stuff, like this. <laughs> <laughs> 